everybody and welcome again to Z Coach Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NBA action, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to this section here. As you see, it has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so we're going for March 27th, and there's four of these you want to look at. So uh, let's get started with this. Okay, we got Dallas and Indiana. You see Dallas comes in ice cold down, loses up their last two, two and four over the last six. Well, Indiana's coming off of a win. They are uh, three and three over their last six. Indiana's average status versus ice cold down. If you look at the power ranks indicator chart, you will see here the up and down trend for Dallas. They were at plus 22 back on March 20th. They've dipped to plus 16. Well, Indiana has gone from 17. You see the downward trend to uh, 14. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between these two teams, you can see Indiana won by two points back on February the 28th on the road. Uh, if you take a look at the over-under, Indiana has been involved in games over the line four out of the last six, while Dallas has been over the line only two out of the last six. So on opposite sides of the line there, uh, the score predictor has Dallas by, uh, actually, no, Indiana by six points with confidence in prediction of 60%. Indiana, I do like Indiana to take this one, but I would pass on the over-under. Okay, the next one we want to look at as we go down through here is Phoenix and Utah. Phoenix comes in dead status. You see they're just 1-5 over the last 6. While Utah is average, they're coming off of a loss, and they're 4-2 over their last 6. Um, take a look at the over-under. You see both teams have been involved in these over the line uh, 11 on the last 12 games. Between these two teams combined um, have been over the line if you take a look at the power ranks indicator you can see here that Phoenix was above Utah but now they have dipped to plus nine while Utah has climbed from plus five over the last about a week up to plus 12 the score predictor has Phoenix by 118 to 114 margin you see there's 53 percent level of confidence in that prediction if you took a look at the volatility oscillator chart, you can see the graph is an upward trend for Phoenix. They are at 24, and Dallas is at a downward trend. They are at minus one, but I mean, Utah, excuse me, Dallas, Utah is at minus one. They have been pretty unstable in the entire year. Um, in the end, I like this one to be a Utah game in a game over the line. Philadelphia and Denver, this is the game of the day. Two MVP candidates battle it out, and the two well, two of the top teams in the NBA battled out. Both teams are burning hot. Philadelphia is 5-1 and one over the last six. And Denver is 3-1 and one over the last three and 3-3 three and three over the last six. Notice that both teams have been trending in games under the line. The last two for Philadelphia and the last four for Denver. On the power ranks indicator, Philadelphia has a slim 25-24 to 24 edge. The last game between the two teams, which happened back on January 28th, was a Philadelphia win by seven points as a home favorite. Right now, the score predictor has Philadelphia by 123-118 with 79% confidence in prediction, a high level of confidence. And if you look at the volatility oscillator, both teams very, very consistent and stable with regard to their favorite underdog status. In the end, I like Philadelphia to win this one on the road in a game going over the line. The next game we want to look at as we go down through, this will be the last game that we want to look at for the day, Chicago Bulls and the LA Clippers. See, both teams come in average status. Chicago is 4-2 and two over their last six, coming off of a big loss to Philadelphia, and while Clippers are 5-1, and one, or actually they're 4-2 also over their last six, coming off of a one-point loss to Oklahoma City. If you look at the over-under, both teams have been involved in games under the line, more often than not, over their last six. Expect a lower scoring game in this one, and the score predictor has the Clippers by a 119 to 103 margin with 64% level of confidence. The power ranks indicator you see here that the Clippers were at plus 11 back on March 8th. They've been on an upward and downward trend. They're back up to 21. While Chicago has been stable over the last couple of days at plus 15. If you take a look at the head to head, the two teams. Uh, let's see, back on January 31st, it was the Clippers by five as a road favorite. That was the only game between the two teams this season. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor. You can see here the Clippers are a consistent 
much more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats at plus 27 compared to you see the bulls only at plus seven they're at a high of plus nine back on march the third so yeah in the end i like the clippers in this one at home but passing the over under okay so there you have it those are the games for march 27th in the nba happy betting and we'll see you